Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Rumors are swirling that one of my favorite homegirls, Chelly Lana Afra, better known as Dr. Afra, is reportedly coming to live action. Several outlets have reported that not only is Dr. Afra making the leap to live action, but that Lucasfilm and Disney already have their eyes set on a specific actress to play the anti-hero and rogue archaeologist. Actress Chloe Bennett is reportedly being eyed as Lucasfilm's number one choice to play Dr. Afra in a new Star Wars project, which would most likely be a project for Disney+. Plus. Bennett is best known for playing Daisy Sky Johnson, aka Quake, on ABC's TV series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and was recently casted to play Blossom in the upcoming Powerpuff Girls revival series. Dr. Afra has been one of my favorite characters that's yet to make the jump to live action, as she's been featured primarily in comics and several novels, so this rumor is super exciting. Although this rumor has not been confirmed by Disney or Lucasfilm, I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk a little bit about Dr. Afra, who she is, and why I'd be all all about seeing Dr. Afra in live action. So, who is Dr. Afra? There's a ton of backstory for the character, so let's talk about some of Afra's main story points and some of my favorite Afra moments. Born in 24 BBY, Dr. Afra was a human female archaeologist recruited by Darth Vader after the Battle of Yavin. Afra, along with her assassin droid companions, Triple Zero and BT-1, fulfilled several missions for the Sith Lord before falling out of his favor and, after faking her own death, continued to roam the galaxy with the two droids. She also went by the alias Joystick Chevron, first when introducing herself to recurring adversary and occasional romantic partner Magna Tolvane, and later during her time serving in the Akresker Penal Legion. The rogue archaeologist first appeared in canon in Kieran Gillen's Darth Vader No. 3 in 2015, which saw the Dark Lord of the Sith enlist the help of Aphra in order to create a private army of battle droids during a time immediately following the destruction of the first Death Star. Vader and Aphra first met when she was still the Triple Zero Protocol personality matrix, which resulted in the droid Triple Zero, who was obsessed with torturing living beings and draining their blood. Vader helped her crack the code to get Triple Zero up and running aboard her ship, the Archangel, and Afra then had Triple Zero wake up BT-1, a blastomech prototype droid, which looked like an astromech, but was actually a specialized assassin droid. Triple Zero and BT are two characters that are just absolutely amazing and are part of why I've loved Dr. Afra's story in the comics so much. Straight up, Triple Zero and BT are hilarious, deadly, and just a ton of fun. Anyway, during Aphra's time working with Vader, she helped the Sith Lord set up his own droid factory, stolen from Geonosis, stole a fortune in credits for their operation, confirmed Luke's connection to Vader on Naboo, and betrayed the Sith Lord twice, including when she tricked Vader into believing the Rebel Alliance had created a base on Tython, getting the Empire off the Rebellion's trail on Hoth. Aphra also escaped from two different prisons, fought off the disembodied consciousness and artificial intelligence of the deceased Jedi heretic Rur, and also fought off the force spirit of a long-dead Jedi who had become infected by Gondravian hook spores. She's also frequently worked alongside the Wookiee bounty hunter Black Chrysanthemum, attempted to loot the abandoned rebel base on Dantooine that Leia told Tarkin about in A New Hope, and even captured my homegirl, the rebel general, Hera Syndulla. Following the Battle of Hoth, Aphra's most recent story arc sees her and a crew of treasure hunters searching for the legendary and powerful artifacts known as the Rings of Vale, as well as Nile hyperdrive technology from the High Republic era. Dr. Aphra's backstory is quite robust, and there's a ton that I haven't mentioned, but her story and comic series is one of the most fun and weird parts of the current Star Wars canon. I mean, what's not to love about a crazy-ass, rogue, and LGBTQ version of Indiana Jones set in the Star Wars galaxy? Kieran Gillen's Dr. Aphra, which ran from 2016 to 2019, is phenomenal, and the conclusion of that run was absolutely absolutely fantastic. It was one of my favorite endings to a comic in quite some time and left me feeling all the feels afterwards. Alyssa Wong's rebooted Dr. Aphra series, which just started up last year, has been just as fun. While we've only gotten rumors about Dr. Aphra making the jump to live action, sign me the hell up if true. Many Star Wars fans seem to like the idea of Chloe Bennett portraying Aphra and, while I'm not familiar with her work, I can't say I'm opposed to her playing my favorite rogue archaeologist. Disney Plus would be the 
perfect place to introduce Afra in a series or movie, and if she doesn't appear in live action, Afra would also be a perfect character to appear in a cartoon series. Either way, just give me some damn Dr. Afra on screen. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see Dr. Afra make the jump to live action? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.